Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Mustache MMA, and welcome to the breakdown episode 3.1. We had a withdrawal from the Hermanson versus Strickland card in Phil Halls. He withdrew from his bout against Sam Alvey. Replacing him will be Brendan Allen, so I'm going to go ahead and give my uh, breakdown of this fight as well as my prediction. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'll start with Alvey. I went over him before uh, in my main video, but I'll, I'll go over him again. Um, Alvey, you know, a veteran of the game. Uh, he's been in the UFC for a long ass time. And um, man, he is on quite a losing streak right now. I think he's lost almost uh, six in a row, maybe one draw in there. So it hasn't gotten a win in a while. So definitely hungry for that one. Um, you know, dude's got a great chin. He's hard to put away in kind of any division that he's really ever in. Um, he's got really good counters on the feet. Um, he seems to kind of have the tendency to where he's just kind of one of those really patient fighters. He gets backed up consistently. He gets pressured consistently. And he's just kind of waiting for that perfect moment to throw that counter, waiting for his opponent to throw so he can counter effectively. Um, and that could sometimes not really um, work out for him too much because he's just not throwing enough volume. Um, you know, on the feed, he, he possesses power, um, but the technicality really isn't there that much. You know, he does throw those, he does look out for those counters and he, he throws some power in there, so, you know, to try to put your lights out or, or try to hurt you. Um, but, uh, you know, overall, I wouldn't say his technicality on the feed is all that great, to be honest. Um, you know, he's just can, getting backed up consistently and, and looking to counter uh, with a power shot. Not much else really that he's doing on the feet that's too impressive. Um, and then if he does even clip you with that power shot, he's been shown that he's not really even like looking to finish you. He's just like too patient. He doesn't want to go in for the kill for whatever reason. Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not really sure what that is all about. Um, you know, ground game I haven't seen too much of it. Um, in all reality, he's actually he actually has really good takedown defense. He's able to kind of keep his opponents. Um, on the feet, uh, you know, which is generally his best ability to probably win the fight anyway. So he's not the greatest on the feet or um, sorry, on the mat. Um, but, you know, best best chance to win for Sam Alvey, always on the feet. Um, and if he does get taken down, he's shown that he's able to get back to his feet really quickly. So he's hard to stay uh, to keep there if he does get taken down. Um, yeah, I said it before, you know, this dude gets pressured really easily as well. He seems like he's always getting backed up on his back foot looking for the counters in that in that aspect. Um, so, yeah, that, that's the breakdown on Sam Alvey. Going over uh, Brennan Allen, too. Coming in on short notice here. Um, what's it? Uh, Monday. So he's coming in on about six days notice. You know, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, you know, I'm assuming this guy's staying busy. He had a grappling match um, in between his, his last fight that he had when he got knocked out by Chris Curtis. Um, so I think this guy does stay pretty active and, you know, he's constantly working in the gym. So the short notice doesn't worry me too much, but it is definitely a factor we want to put into this prediction here. Um, Brendan Allen, man, uh, you know, ever since coming to the UFC, young guy, um, pretty big prospect. Um, you know, he was rolling and then got stopped hard by Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland starched him in his fight and knocked him out easily in the second round, dominated him in the first round. You know, Allen from there, he, he came back, though. He won his, la his next two. Um, an impressive win over um, Punahili Soriano, who's also on this card as well. Um, you know, Soriano, very good on the feet. And, you know, Allen has shown um, after his Strickland fight that his um, striking has improved pretty good. Um, you know, and then his last fight against Chris Curtis didn't go his way, but he did look good in the first round. His striking looked good. Um, you know, Chris Curtis was just able to get the best of him. Uh, you know, his path to victory there was definitely use the wrestling, and for whatever reason, he didn't want to use it. Um, but yeah, Brendan Allen, I mean, great wrestling, really good takedowns. When he gets you down, he's really good top control. He can really keep you there for a majority of the round. Um, hard for you to get back up. Uh, you know, when you're on there, you're going to see some ground and pound. He's going to position well. He's going to... You know, uh, be patient at first, uh, but then once he gets in those positionings that he really likes, uh, you know, he's going to throw that ground and pound on you, hurt you pretty bad. Um, on top of that, he's really good grappling. He's going to be looking for sub submissions as well if he can get the if he can get them, if you give up his neck, or if you give him his neck, or uh, you know, any kind of um, offering or give up your back, it's going to be big trouble. You know, on the contrary, he has also really good submission defense. Um, you know, really good grappler, really good wrestler. That's his main suit. Um, his striking has really improved, though. Like I said before, you know, um, he's been really 
uh, working on that striking, uh, becoming a more well-rounded fighter. Um, really, the power the power isn't there, and the technicality is, is okay, and it's improving. Uh, but the striking defense is is not very good, and that's the thing that worries me uh, about Brennan Allen moving forward. Um, you know, Brennan Allen, he's just seen that he can get hit pretty easily and, and pretty often, um, you know, and especially if uh, he's face up against a pretty good striker, that could be problems for him. And, you know, uh, we've seen the last couple fights, questionable chin maybe, knocked out by Chris Curtis, uh, second round, knocked out by Sean Strickland, second round. Now, Sean Strickland, Chris Curtis, very good strikers in my opinion. Um, you know, he went against Punahili Soriano, who I think is also a really good striker. Um, and was able to really outpiece him for almost three rounds. Um, so, you know, taking that into account, you know, his chin is, is questionable, sure, but I still think it's good, you know. He's getting knocked out by these top striking opponents, um, but, you know, some other, I, w I don't want to say lower level, but some middle tier um, striking opponents, he's able to defare it well against. Um so with that being said, you know, overall prediction here, I'm going to take Brendan Allen still on short notice. I just think Sam Alvey's on his way out of the UFC. He's too old. He gets pressured too easily. Um, he just doesn't throw enough volume. I think Brendan Allen is probably going to have an advantage on the feet here. He's going to throw more volume. He's going to be more aggressive. If Brendan Allen wants to take this to the ground, he has the advantage there as well in both the wrestling and the grappling. Um, so, yeah, official pick's going to be Brendan Allen. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, and if you guys did not check out my previous video on the entire card for uh, Hermanson Strickland, check that out. I will list it down below. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy.